morning everybody this morning we're taking you on another exciting adventure here in south florida we're looking for gopher tortoises in a place called seacrest natural scrub area which happens to be one of the oldest natural areas in south florida it covers about 50 acres and is surrounded on all sides by urban development but yet here in this little island of protected habitat lives fantastic creatures like the gopher tortoise. Let's see if we can find some this morning. This is the perfect habitat for gopher tortoises. It's called longleaf pine and these pine trees combined with these really sandy soils are exactly what gopher tortoises look for. You can see this is almost just historic beach sand and it's on these dune ridges with pine trees and this is where we find gopher tortoises. The best way to find gopher tortoises is to find their burrows in the morning before they come out to forage. They are herbivores so they'll come out looking for legumes, they'll look for fallen fruit and they'll scavenge for that fruit and those legumes in the mornings and throughout the day and then go back into their burrows at night. So we're looking for basically mounds of white sand with burrows underneath and that's where we're going to find gopher tortoises. There's a little patch of sand over here that looks promising so let's have a look here. Trying to see if anybody's home in the burrow. Gopher tortoises will come to the entrance of the burrow and often they'll wait there for quite a while until the temperature is that perfect temperature. It's warmed up enough for them to come out, especially in winter. And during the winter months, they'll come out of their burrows generally a lot later than they would in summer. Another reason for them sort of sitting at the burrow entrance is they will scan and make sure that it's safe to come out. Doesn't look like there's anybody home here. A really good sign though, a nice active burrow. because there's two gopher tortoises there and I'm pretty sure that this is a mating display. What actually happens is the male will approach the female at her burrow and he'll do this weird display with his head. His head will bob up and down really, really quickly and then she will retreat back into the burrow and then he'll mate with her. Very cool. Well, we've put the GoPro cameras down at the burrow entrance. There's two gopher tortoises there and the only difference to tell the sex of gopher tortoises is to look at the plastron underneath and the male will have a concave plastron and the female will have a flat plastron and the plastron are basically the scoots on the underside of the tortoise. It's also said that males sometimes have a little bit of a longer gula protrudence which is a little part of the carapace that sticks out where their neck and their head rests on but besides that it's quite difficult to tell the difference and we don't really want to disturb these gopher tortoises you know a lot of people when they see a tortoise they'll pick it up and it's the worst thing you can do because when you pick up a, a tortoise especially in an arid environment it generally defecates and gets rid of all its water as a defense mechanism and in times of drought that tortoise could easily die because it won't be able to find a source of water to replenish the water that it lets go. So never touch a tortoise when you see one. Don't pick it up, just leave it. And that's the beauty of these GoPro cameras is that they allow us to witness nature without human interference. If we were right there filming, those tortoises probably wouldn't behave naturally. But right now we've backed off, those cameras are there filming and hopefully will get them doing their natural thing. 
and we all know that uh, things don't happen quickly with tortoises so we're taking a little bit of respite from the sun resting here in the shade and we'll hopefully get some nice footage of these two gopher tortoises and see what they've been up to. I'll tell you a little bit about the life history of these tortoises and their conservation because they're pretty neat critters. They're part of the genus Gopherus and gopher tortoises are the only true tortoises found in North America. This is the Florida gopher tortoise or otherwise called just gopher tortoise and there are five other species spread out through North America. They are classified as vulnerable and in fact all the species of gopher tortoises are declining which is of huge concern because these patches of natural scrub in places like Florida are increasingly becoming tiny little islands as urban sprawl spreads out across the entire state and so we're quite lucky to have these little natural areas right on our doorstep here in Palm Beach County Florida where we can still experience magnificent creatures like the gopher tortoise. We've just been watching this male gopher tortoise do his display to the female at the entrance of the burrow. Unlike most things that tortoises do, the display is remarkably quick as he moves his head from side to side and up and down and now he's moving off to go and forage. Come have a look at the huge, what we call elephantine back legs. The back legs look like elephant legs and look at the front legs though, like giant shovels. Armor plated front legs with lots of scales on them and they laterally compressed so that they can dig that sand out of the burrows. Well, the male has gone back into his burrow. It's been fascinating to witness a little snippet of gopher tortoise history this morning. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to learn more, go onto our website at awildconnection.com and we'll see you next time on AWC Diaries. And until then, go out into the wild and get connected. <laughs>